Welcome back, Mid-Missouri. We're just one week away from Election Day. Here at ABC 17 News, we're sitting down with all seven of the candidates running for Columbia Board of Education. Tonight, we have candidate Chuck Basie live in studio with us. Chuck Basie, thank you so much for taking time out of your thank, day. To thanks for having me. Of course. So to start off, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your platform that you're running on? Well, I'm uh, retired from the Federal Aviation Administration, and uh, of course, I'm retired from the state as well. Uh, being a legislator for eight years, but I'm back in the federal workforce. I work for Congressman Luke Meyer right now, so I started that in January and enjoying it very much. And school safety is obviously a top priority, especially after six people were killed um, at a school in Tennessee today. What are your thoughts on the safety of students and professionals at CPS, and would you like to see any changes being made? Well, I think that we can always do more. Uh, our, our children are our future, and uh, what happened today is a tragedy as always, and, uh, and again, it, same pattern. It's a mentally unstable person, appears to be, and... Um, but uh, we could do more here in the Columbia area and certainly statewide. I, I have, uh, I, th I think we should uh, arm uh, volunteer teachers and staff members. There's a bill moving through the House of Representatives right now. Matter of fact, it's in the Senate, House Bill 70. And it was supported by Democrats, including the minority leader and uh, other Democrats in the House. So it's a bipartisan bill to allow school districts to expand if they choose. Uh, more and more staff, teachers, uh, administrators to, uh, with proper credentials, uh, concealed carry permits and other training to uh, hopefully if that would uh, happen in one of our schools, they, they could take action before the police get there and, and uh, hopefully take that perpetrator out. And kind of switching gears a little bit, teacher pay is obviously a big topic for schools. Um, Missouri teachers are some of the lowest paid in the country. Um, how can the district afford to pay teachers more in those raises? Well, uh, pay is a, always a problem no matter what profession you're looking at. And uh, that is what we've been hearing for quite a while. Teacher pay is inadequate. But if you look at two surveys recently that the NEA and the MSTA put out, that's not the top concerns that teachers are uh, complaining about right now. Um, discipline in the classroom is lacking. And uh, also, that's the number one problem they can complain about is a, a lack of discipline in the schools. And then right behind that is the uh, no support from administrators and school boards. So, but pay is in there, but it's, it's not the top thing that teachers are concerned about right now. So we need to do a better job listening to teachers and, and school staff and uh, make improvements in that area. And if elected, what are some current issues with CPS that you would like to tackle and what's your vision for well, that? First and foremost, our academic performance is, is lacking and it's been going down for uh, more than a decade. And uh, COVID's being blamed and that's certainly a factor, but um, the, the latest report that came out from uh, DESE just highlights the problems in Columbia. We're right on the borderline of being unaccredited, which was unheard of 10, 15 years ago. And uh, we need to do a much better job. And, and the most uh, glaring issue with that report is the performance of our low-income students. So uh, it's, it's horrific. Uh, to, I, I hate to use that strong language, but we have got to do a better job educating our children before we send them out into the world. We're not giving them a foundation in which they can build on by not giving them a proper education. And I would say, is there anything else that you would like to touch on? Accountability and transparency is lacking. It has been for a while. So um, I'm not going to uh, say that I'm going to work with the NEA. I'm not going to work for them. But uh, we need to have a different perspective on that board, uh, one that's been lacking for quite a while. And um, we need to get back to traditional, basic education and, um, and get away from a lot of this woke stuff that's going on in the school system right now. Chuck Basie, thank you so much for sitting thank down for with us time. tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you. And, of course, be sure to watch our newscast at the same time throughout this week as we sit down with the remaining candidates. You can find our interviews from last week with three of the other candidates on our website at abc17news.com.